creepy. Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. So in here I have the illusion slash casting. Yes, it's not the third time that I will unbox this rod because it's already unboxed. I will probably unbox it one third time when they put proper casting guides on it. But either way, it's not because of this rod that I'm doing this video today. It's actually because of this rod, but it's because of this one. So if you scour through Aliexpress, you will know that there's a rod by Beautiful, which usually makes quite affordable rods. Oops. Something felt freebie, so some sort of cheap crankbait, free, very very nice thick packaging, so sort of like I think Mavlos used to do, even though it doesn't say the same as the me fine rod this one says beautiful fishinger super ultra light and it's a 180 centimeter rod oh, the, it actually doesn't smell that bad but for the first time i will make a comparison because at least on the pictures this rod look these rods look very very similar so i'll take them to the table and give you guys a closer look so you know if this is the same rod or it's just a case of a doppelganger see you guys in a bit so it would be nice to see a neoprene sleeve in here because this rod right now it's fairly expensive in discount it is like almost 40 dollars and there's another store from beautiful selling this rod for almost 100 dollars so <laughs> It should be neoprene, not this cheap plastic fabric. But either way, as you can see, out of the box, this really looks like a Mifine product. Uh, looks like it was assembled on the same factory. I may say that the quality of the components feels a little bit cheaper, even though they claim they use Fuji guides. But either way, this is the 180 centimeter version, so 5 foot 11. It's a super ultra light rod. They also have bigger sizes in spinning gear. So the spinning version, you have three sizes, like with the uh, illusion slash. The tip, they claim a 0 0.7 millimeter tip. I will just measure it in a, in a minute. Uh, so the cast weight from 0 0.2 to 8 grams, it's a lot bigger than the illusion slash. Illusion slash, it's 0 0.2 to 0 0.8. So that triggered me a little bit to get this rod. Don't do this, don't be a douche, douchebag like me, pulling the tags out like this. But this one, the only difference that you can see right here is that it has a hook holder and it feels somewhat a little bit weird on the assembly side. So it looks like it was made on the same factory as me fine but to a cheaper cost even though it costs almost the same so it's a bit weird i'm just waiting the rod so 80 grams flat and they claim 81.2 which again as i said on my previous video i think usually rods will weigh less and reels will wait a little bit more so i'm trying to measure the tip and it's around, even though you cannot see, 0 0.76 millimeters, which is actually pretty good because they usually don't account for the varnish on top. So the epoxy work comes after the claim measurement. So either way, I'm just pulling my illusion out. And I think now it's visible that they are not the same rod. Even though I'm not the best guy making the camera work, so you can see now that the real seat is bigger and that the blank it's a little bit wider so you have 
51mm on the original Illusion Slash by Mifine. And now if we measure the beautiful version, it's 65. So 10 more millimeters on the diameter of the blank, which will give all the more oomph. So with that, you get the bigger cast weight. So now on the second element, you will have 49 on one and 54 on the other. So the thickness continues along all the way on the blank from first and second uh, parts of the rod. And the tip is the part that is very, very similar. Both of them feature a solid tip. On the case of the beautiful, it's a 30 ton. Now I'm trying to flex. And you can see on the top, I have the beautiful tip and it's flexing more towards the tip. In the case of the illusion slash, it's flexing all the, along the way of the second part of the rod. So what that tells me, it's that the blank on the beautiful, it's a little bit stronger and the cast weight being a little bit bigger. And now you can see the same. So this is a better visual visualization of it. So you have more flex towards the tip on the beautiful rod. So now I messed up. I'm trying to put the wrong second part of the rod on the from the beautiful on the illusion slash and I can't. And I'll try to make the same thing. So now it's definitive. They are not the same rod. You cannot swap elements through them. And I think I forgot to mention that this rod features seven plus one guide. So but that's the only thing I think I missed on the comparison. Hopefully, Mifine will have the Illusion Slash with the proper guides, like, like this one. You can see in, in here that still has some band to the body, to the uh, first half of the blank. And now you can see me catching bass with it. Sorry for the crooked video. But as you know, I don't like to go on a place and find that all my bass were eaten by some douchebag with rice and beans. So crazy crow making the day. And now this guy can return to the bases. Just a quick snapshot. And there he goes. And I will see you guys on my next video. Actually not, because I also use this rod with the pure lure silver feather. DC or Miek or Exa, whatever you call them. Yeah. And I also caught bass with it. So I will see you guys on my next videos. Bye.